pressure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Send out in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rats basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSN Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball. So I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me. So I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. always been here um, you know and they're getting better um, you know I'm watching 
you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting. And I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana. The talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. In four years, this, this could, could be you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Our football team haven't won a sectional title in 32 years. There's no team better than us, and we just do our job. You know, nobody really want to lose no more. All you want is greatness. You want me one, two, three. This is the game that's been on my calendar all year. We don't need you. Man, this is a plan. We a whole different north side team. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Welcome to SummitCitySports.com. We're here in Leo, Indiana, where the Leo Lions at 2-2 two two will take on the Fort Wayne Lures Knights, who are 1-1. One and one. Uh, Lures comes in. They beat Canterbury in a close game and then lost to Mishawaka Marion this past weekend. They're at 1-1. One and one. They're coached by Seth Coffin. He's in his uh, first year here at Lures, spent some time at Garrett, and then over out in Maryland to coach a number of high school years there. Uh, this team comes in, a pretty young team, uh, led by Nick Thomas, a senior guard, 6'3". Uh, but then they have Danny Kelly, a sophomore, Z uh, Isaac Zay, uh, a junior, Cadell Wallace, a junior, and Wesley Javens, a junior. So uh, they're picked to be in the middle of the pack of the SAC now. Speaking of the SAC, Leo already took on two of those uh, uh, three three out of three opponents of uh, Lures. They uh, beat Southside in overtime. They lost to Wayne and Concordia, and Wayne and Concordia will probably be at the top of the SAC, don't you think, Aiden? Yeah, I would think so because Concordia has a really good team, and then Wayne's a really good team as well. So. Yeah, and, you know, the Concordia team lost to uh, uh, Leo last year, but this is a much different Leo team this year. Yeah. They lost quite a few seniors. This Leo team is led by Trey Haichu and Jackson McGee. They're both averaging over 15 points a game to be exact. Trey Haichu is averaging 17.8, and Jackson McGee is 19.5. And then third in scoring is uh, Nolan Haichu, a freshman. So this team likes to shoot the three ball. They've shot 92 threes already in four games, and they've made 34 of them. So that's a completion rate of 37%. Uh, so they will shoot it well from the outside. I think their struggle is going to be the uh, interior game. Not a lot of size up front. They're going to count on Brock Schott, uh, the sophomore. He's averaging five points a game, averaging four rebounds. Um, maybe senior Luke Chappell will get in there a little bit. Uh, Tyler Neal's and Colin Butler, those are their big guys in the middle and along with Eli LaGrange. So I think their weakness is going to be their interior offense, uh, but they can really shoot. They can make up for it in, in uh, their transition offense and their outside shooting. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be back here on SummitCitySports.com.
Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Dealing with joint pains, sprains, strains, or back pain? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, Ortho Express has specialized orthopedic physicians on staff when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more. Back here at Leo High School for tonight's Summit City Sports.com matchup between the Leo Lions and the Bishop Lures Knights. I'm Steve Orth alongside Aiden Orth bringing you tonight's broadcast. The Leo Lions are 2-2 two and two, and the, the Bishop Lures Knights are 1-1. One and one. All right, Aiden, run our ads for us. All right, let's like thank some of our sponsors for make, making these broadcasts possible. Big Eye Fish has run the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions, enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment. Kelly Automotive Group is celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 other brands at drivekelly.com. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They will help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and all other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and much more. At uh, Ottenweiler Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the, during the entire process. From bid to build, visit OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the summit. Anderson and Eating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. A system and solution that fits your unique needs, visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expulging your criminal record or helping you get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sequoia Cleaning Restoration, providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. The Always 100 13th Annual Holiday Hoops Camp is back. It will be at the Sport 1 Fieldhouse December 26th through the 29th. Uh, register at always100basketball.com. And Parkview Sports Medicine. At Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level, of, every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team, including the region's only only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our services by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. And today's broadcast is brought to you by summitcitysports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have about a minute and 50 seconds. We'll take a quick break and be back here on SummitCitySports.com. I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA.
You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time. To pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty. And I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Back here at Leo High School, I'm Steve Orth alongside Aiden North, bringing tonight's broadcast on SummitCitySports.com. We are all set for the starting lineups. First for the one and one, Bishop Lewers Knights. They will start a senior, number two, six foot three, Nick Thompson. At forward, six foot five, sophomore, number three, Danny Kelly. Another forward, six foot four, junior, number four, Isaac Zay. At guard, number 11, Cadell Wallace, 5'10", junior. And at forward, number 15, six foot three, junior, Wesley Javins. Coached by Seth Coffin. He's in his first year at Lures. He was, on the assi- he was assistant last year for Fonzo White. Now for the Leo Lions. Number two, six foot four, sophomore Brock Shot. Guard number three, six foot two, junior Trey Heitchu. Number four, six foot one, senior Javon Walker. Number five, six foot. Sophomore Sol Richards and rounding out the lineups number 13, six foot three, junior Jackson McGee. Coached by Kerry Cogdale. He's in his 19th year, 274 and 190. And we are just about set for tip. Aiden, if you're Lures, what are you going to have to do to shut down the Leo Lions? Uh, for sure, shut down the three ball. If Leo hits the three ball, then this could be a long night for the Lures Knights. Yeah, Leo's shooting 37% from the three-point line this year. They are 2-2 two and two on the year. They uh, beat Southside and Heritage, lost to Wayne and Concordia, whereas Leo or the uh, Bishop Lures Knights are 1-1. One and one. They lost to Canterbury, or they beat Canterbury and lost to Mishawaka Marion. So we will have number four, Javon Walker, jumping against number three, Danny Kelly. And the Lures Knights will have the basketball. Nick Thompson at the top of the key. He'll drive right and stop. Kicks it out to number 15. The three's on the way. It's off the side of the rim. Jackson McGee's got it in transition. He'll bring it on the left side. Gives it off to Trey Haichu. He'll drive left baseline. And we got an offensive foul. Good job there by number 11, Cadell Wallace. He really set his feet nicely there to draw the charge. Yeah, that's the one thing you want to do when you're trying to draw a charge there. Running the point is Wallace. He'll hand it off to number four, Zay. Zay gives it off to Thompson. Over to two, Kelly. Kelly will drive left baseline. He'll take the running floater, miss the shot, and it's off the mark. 
Soul Richards will bring it up. He'll give it off to Trey Heitschew. Lures will run their offense here, or Leo will run their offense, gets it to Jackson McGee. He's the leading scorer for the Leo Lions, averaging about 19 points a game. Shot to Heitschew. Heitschew will dribble, spins in the lane, gets cut off, kicks it to the Soul Richards gets it inside to Javon Walker. Javon Walker kicks it out to Trey. Heights you for the Trey. No good off the mark. Loose ball. And Lures has it. Nick Tom Thomas will push it up ahead and tipped away by Trey Heights you. Pretty sloppy both ways right yeah. now. Both teams trying to get set in their offense, having a hard time getting it. Get an open the, shot. Yeah. Bounce pass goes into Kelly. Back to Zay. Over to Wallace at the top of the key. He's guarded by Trey Haichu. He gets a screen from the top. Gets it back to 15. Loose ball. Another turnover for the Knights. Trey Haichu will have it for the Leo Lions. He'll dribble behind the back. He'll set up the offense here. Jackson McGee guarded by Cadell Wallace, and he just... Pushed off on Wallace. That's two big plays for Cadell Wallace yeah. on the defensive side. Drew a charge and now an offensive foul with a push off. It's a great defense by Cadell Wallace. I remember seeing him play last year in the sectionals over at Garrett, and he he was a feisty little one. Yeah, for sure. He's only 5'10", pretty quick. Long three on the way, no good off the front of the iron by number four, Isaac Zay, and it's still 0-0 here. Now, if I remember, like, Lures played Leo in the opening game of sectionals and got beat pretty badly. But that was a di way different Leo team than there is Yeah, it's tonight. a Leo team that lost uh, quite a few seniors. Leo team that lost in semi-state to Mishawaka Marion, and Mishawaka Marion is the team that beat Lures here early on in the year. That fouls on Cadell Wallace, a little aggressive there. 5.39 here in the first, and it's 0-0. Pass goes into number five, Sol Richards. He gets it to Jackson McGee, guarded by Thompson. It looks like Lure's in a little 2-3 zone here. Changing up the defense a little bit. Long three by Jackson McGee, and he buries it from way downtown. 5-11 here to go, and it is 3-0 Leo Lions. Wallace gives it to Thompson. He'll try to answer. No good off the back of the iron, and Trey Haichu's got it. He'll go in transition. Haichu drives left side, spins in the lane, off balance pass. But up ahead, Cadell Wallace has got it. He'll put up the left-handed layup in, and it's good. Three to two, just like that. Leo down one, 444 left here in the first quarter. Sol Richards will run the point. For the Lions, gives it off to Trey Haichu. He'll take a running one-hander. It's off the mark, loose ball. Saved by Javon Walker, still loose. Cadell Wallace comes away with it. Cadell Wallace will pull a three. He buries it. Big shot there, Cadell Wallace. Not only can he play defense, he can shoot the three. For sure. He's been impressive here early. McGee comes off the screen. He'll pull a three. It's off the back of the iron. No good. Good box out there by the Bishop Lures Knights. Cadell Wallace in transition. Oh, he had a great pass. Number 15, Wesley Javins yeah, that wasn't was, looking. That was great awareness there for Wallace. Javins comes out. Number 23, Demarcus Barr checks in. Demarcus Barr is a six foot one sophomore. 3.53 to go here. Lures up four, five to three here in the first quarter. Jackson McGee will run the point. Thompson guarding him. Nick Thompson, a senior. Height shoot to Walker. Hard part for Leo is not much of an interior game. Everything's yeah. run outside the perimeter. So then if you don't make your shots, then you get into a little bit of a point situation, points trouble. 
Yeah, and the hard part is you're not going to get a lot of second chance shots. Yeah. Brock shot comes out, and number five, Sol Richard, comes out in for the Lions. Uh, is number 24, Eli LaGrange, and number 25, Nolan Heitschu. Nolan Heitschu, a freshman. Sure doesn't look like it. He's a big no. boy. And we got a foul on the Lures Knights. It's going to be on Danny Kelly there. That's oh. actually on Thompson, his second. So Coach Coffin's going to have to go to the bench here early. Number 32, Zamarian Jackson will check in. That's tough break for Lures right there. Nick Thompson, one of the better players for the Lures Knights. Good rebound there by Trey Heitschu, or by Nolan Heitschu. Yeah, Nolan Heitschu stolen by Cadell Wallace, and we got a three-on-one. Dishes it off. Number 23 puts it up and in. That's Demarcus Barr. That was a great job by the Lures Knights to get in transition and get that easy bucket. So 7-3, Lures here early. Jackson McGee catches in the paint, puts it up and in. Jackson McGee's got five. Seven to five. Lures. Cadell Wallace pulls it from the free throw line. No good. Loose ball. LaGrange comes away with it. Eli LaGrange with the rebound. He'll bring it up. Gives it off to Nolan Heitschu. Heitschu. Gives it to LaGrange. LaGrange to McGee. McGee will run the point. Gives it off to Trey Heitschu. 2.17 left here in the first quarter. Good battle here early. McGee will post up. He'll spin, turn around, jump shot, and hits it. And it's all tied up, and it's all Jackson McGee. 7-7, tie ball game. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. Cadell Wallace gets it, drives up, puts it up and in. Great move there by Cadell Wallace. Man, we've had a lot of good highlights here early. Yeah. Jackson McGee, long three, no good, off the front of the iron. Loose ball, Lures comes away with it. Wallace so quick in transition, drives on the right side, gets cut off, gives it to number three, Danny Kelly at the top of the key, it's off the front of the iron. Wallace will get it on the second chance, he misses it. Two good opportunities for the Lures Knights and they were unable to convert. Seven to nine. Lures in the lead. Under a minute to play here. And, and turnover, Leo. Trey Haichu wasn't looking. Checking in for Lures is number 12, Cameron Mitchell, a 6'2 junior. He'll come in for number 32, Zamarian Jackson. The good thing about Lures is they seem to have a deep bench. They do. They have a lot of guys on their roster, so Coach Coffin can go pretty deep with a lot of guys. Kelly gives it to Mitchell. Mitchell drives in, puts it up. No good off the mark. Rebound, Jackson McGee. 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. 9-7, Lures. You think Mitchell will pick yeah. up McGee. I'm sure they're just going to ISO and let McGee take it. Yep. McGee was really impressive for Leo last year in their uh, run in the postseason. Yeah. He was more of a six-man role last year. He's the go-to guy but, yeah. this year. Seven seconds. He gets a screen up top. He'll drive right side, takes it up. No good. Rebound up and in. And we got a tie ball game. Basket good by number four, Javon Walker, at the end of the first quarter. It is a 9-9 tie. We'll be back here on SummitCitySports.com.
various sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Back here on summitcitysports.com, all tied up 9-9. Here with 7.53 to begin the second quarter. Pretty even quarter on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Leo trying to work it inside. Got a little foul there. The big storyline is Nick Thompson. Two fouls for Lures early. Yeah, if you're in the Knights, you don't really want to be fouling. I mean, you have a deep bench, though, but that's the, uh, one good thing, I'd say. You want him to be able to run the point and guard Jackson yeah. McGee. And that's probably why he's got those two fouls. He's, ha he's guarding the best player out on the floor. LaGrange gets it over to Javon Walker. Walker cross court to Nolan Haichu. Trey Haichu will take the tray. It's off the front of the iron, no good. And rebound Mitchell, number 12. Got a foul on the play. It's going to be Danny Kelly heading to the line for two. Foul's going to be on Trey Haichu. That's his second. So Sol Richards will enter for Trey Haichu. And Cameron Mitchell will exit for Lures. Looks like Brandon uh, DeMarcus Barr re-enters the game for Lures. Free throw is good by Kelly. Makes it a 10-9 game. Lures up top. Under seven minutes to play here in the second. Gets it into LaGrange, kicks it out to Nolan Heitschu. He'll pull a three, and he got it. Big shot there, Nolan Heitschu. Good block there. That was Eli LaGrange with the block. Good save, went out of bounds, though. That's another turnover for, those, for the Leo Lions. They need to... Keep, uh, keep the ball, not turn it over. Wesley Javis enters the game for uh, Zamarian Jackson. Wallace here running the point. Looks like Lures is trying to go an up-tempo kind of offense here. Yeah, you got to wonder how long Coach Coffin will leave Nick Thompson on the bench. Good take there. Drew the foul. Good job there, number 23, DeMarcus Barr again. Very athletic in the lane. Fouls on Nolan Haichu. Free throw number one goes off the iron. So Barr has one more coming. And he hits the second. 12-11, Leo leads. 6-15 left in the second quarter. Nolan Haichu running the point. McGee's got it. He'll drive on Wallace. Wallace does have one foul. He's got to be careful. You don't want Wallace and Thompson on the bench. Trey he or Nolan Heitchu missed the three. Cadell Wallace, good moves there. Almost a steal by Nolan Heitchu. Cadell Wallace will back it up. Gives it off to Barr. Barr drives right side, takes it up, and he drew the foul. 
Barr's been so good at driving in the lane and getting some contact. So Barr back to the line for two. He's going to hit that first. He's got one more coming. He's got four on the night so far. All tied up, 12-12. Missed the second. Man, Lures knocks those free throws down. They're up 15-12. They've missed three. McGee running point here. So far, both these teams pretty equally matched. Yeah. McGee on the right wing. He'll drive right baseline. Backs in, puts up the shot, and hit it. McGee's got nine. But Lures comes right back. Yeah. Number 15 with the bucket. That's Javens. 14-14. Walker drives, puts the ball up, no good. Oh good. He got bumped Lures. up ahead. Wallace has it, he fakes, he puts it up, and he hits the shot. Lures is really pushing it up court very quickly. It's making it hard for this Lions team to recover defensively. Wallace has nine. Sixteen fourteen. Double team on Nolan Heitschut. He'll try to go running one-hander. No good off the mark. Rebound number three, Danny Kelly. Kelly will drive left side. He'll stop and pop. No good off the mark. Offensive board almost, but number five. Sol Richards gets the comes rebound. Comes away with it. Gives it to Jackson McGee. Jackson McGee is probably going to drive right to the basket here. He got cut off. He gives it back to Sol Richards. We'll have a couple subs at the next dead ball. Looks like Mitchell and shot. LaGrange will drive left side. He'll take it up, and he puts it in. Good explosive move there by Eli LaGrange. Three ball there for Wallace. He Wallace gets it. buries it. Big shot by Cadell Wallace. 325 left in the second quarter. It's 19-16, the Knights on top of the Lions. Leo trying to run the offense here. LaGrange has it, he'll drive. Decides against it, Nolan Haichu for three, off the front of the iron. LaGrange, LaGrange rebounds it, he spins in the lane, missed the shot, good strong move there. And we got a foul. Sol Richards is going to get called for the foul there. I believe that's going to be his second. Mitchell will come in for number three, Kelly. Nineteen sixteen. Lures in control here so far. Good news for Coach Coffin is Nick Thompson's on the bench, and the Lures Knights have the lead. Haichu puts it up and in. Nolan Haichu's got five for the Leo Lions. McGee's got seven for him. Oh, good back cut right there. Oh, couldn't finish. Isaac Zay had an opportunity yeah. there. A little too strong. Looks like Brock Shot got a hand on it, maybe. 2.20 to play, 19-18. Leo can take the lead here. Good battle between these two early. Jackson McGee missed way off, and that's off Brock Shot. He had an opportunity there to grab it, but unfortunately went off his hands. Wallace will bring it up. Oh, and he lost it. Trying to be too flashy there. Substitution 
1.56 remaining here in the second quarter. Lures 19, Leo 18. Leo's really struggled getting some offense going here. Trying to get McGee open off screens. Sol Richards drives right side, kicks it to LaGrange. LaGrange drives in the lane, and he's blocked by number three, Danny Kelly. And we have a travel. One twenty-eight to play. Leo 19. Lures 18. Brock shot. Gives it back to McGee. Almost stolen away there by number three, Danny Kelly. Got a good hand on the passing yeah. lane. One ten to play. Really the only one with varsity experience last year for Leo right now on the floor is Jackson McGee. Sol Richards will pull a three, and he hits it. Big shot there by Sol Richards. Good and Nolan Haichu gets the stop. And there's a foul by Wallace. That's Wallace's second. Not a good foul there. That was a great defensive stop there by Nolan Haichu. Yeah, Wallace has got 12 points, and now he's got two fouls, so he's got to be careful. Coach Coffin, I don't know if he's aware of that or not, but... I mean, you got 50 seconds left in this first half. You do. You just don't want to pick up a third here. Yeah. Nolan Heitschu gives it off to McGee. He's guarded by number four, Zay. McGee will get a screen from shot. Back to LaGrange. LaGrange over to Nolan Heitschu. Trey Heitschu has two fouls, and he's on the bench. LaGrange for three. He hits it. You sure got to guard the Leo Lions on the perimeter. They can nail the three. The third different, that's a fourth different player for the Lions with a three point bucket. We'll take a quick timeout here on SummitCitySports.com. It's the Leo Lions 24, Bishop Lewis Knights 19. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on. Back here after the Lures timeout, this is the biggest lead Leo's had. They got a five point lead, courtesy of two big threes Eli LaGrange and uh, Sol Richards. Long three, no good off the mark, and that's the end of the first half. Leo Lions 24, Lures 19. We'll be right back here on SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up 
plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who in my everyday life, someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now, and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. In four years, this, this could be you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Our football team haven't won a sectional title in 32 years. There's no team better than us, and we just do 
our job. You know, nobody really want to lose no more. All you want is greatness. You want me one, two, three. This is a game that's been on my calendar all year. We don't need you. Stay in discipline. We a whole different Northside team. Area sports looked a lot different back in 1952 when Jim Kelly opened his first dealership in Fort Wayne. 70 years later, that original dealership has grown into the Kelly Automotive Group with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall and Kelly Chevrolet on Lima Road. Fort Wayne continues to support our local teams and businesses. Thank you for 70 years. We could have never done it without you. Visit us today at drivekelly.com. Back here on SummitCitySports.com, I'm Steve Worth alongside Aiden North here at half. And we had a good first half. Uh, the big difference is the Leo Lions shooting percentage. They're shooting 40% from the field, 33% from the three-point line, whereas Lures is only shooting 36% from the field and 25% from the three-point line. They've left three points uh, for at the free-throw line, three of six for the Lures Knights, the leading scorers for Lures. Uh, Danny Kelly, one point. Wesley Javens, two points. Damian Jackson, four points. And the leading scorer in the first half was Cadell Wallace, and he played really well for Lures with 12 points. Nick Thompson was in foul trouble the senior. He got two fouls early, and he had zero points. So uh, he's got to have a big second half for Lures to get back in this game. And they're going to need to shoot well from the outside. They have not shot well tonight from three-point line. For the Leo Lions, the, the, uh, they're scoring. Pretty balanced for them. Javon Walker, two points. Sol Richards, three points. Eli LaGrange, five points. Nolan Haichu, five points. Jackson McGee, nine points. Um, and then Trey Haichu, he had uh, two fouls, so that was a big thing for him. He, he sat most of that second quarter. So uh, pretty even when you look at the stats across the board. Both teams uh, about four, three assists. Seven turnovers for Leo, six for Lures. Um, three steals, three steals, uh, rebounds, 16 for Leo, 11 for Lures. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty even across the board other than the three-point differential. Some scores from around the area in the girls basketball. Northside got their first one of the year, 35-31. Concordia was leading DeKalb, 31-23. Garrett was leading Westview, 41-37. And boys action. Uh, big one over at uh, DeWanger, Norwell 50, Bishop DeWanger 23. So Norwell bouncing back after that loss to uh, Carroll by one point. They've won four straight. Uh, final, final girls score, Garrett 46, Westview 40. Uh, Columbia City 29, Busco 10, boys score. Uh, boys score Fremont 29 and Garrett 21 and also Culver 24, Northrop 16, an interesting score. Uh, Lures beat Canterbury, Canterbury's beating Eastside 34-19 in boys action. All right, Aiden, what are your keys here in the second half for the Leo Lions? Um, for the Lions, you kind of got to shut down Cadell Wallace. He's been hot, and if the Lions don't shut him down, then Wallace is just going to run right all right over them. Although the Lions just got to be careful. They can't get anybody into foul trouble because I know they got a couple guys in foul trouble. Trey Haichu's in foul trouble. Brock Schatz in foul trouble. So you got to be careful there not, not fouling. Yeah, and for Lures, they just need to knock down shots. They have not shot very well from the field. Um, they missed a couple really nice shots underneath the hoop. Uh, and, and, and the free throws. I mean, there's, there's two buckets they left on the floor, three free throws. They should be in the lead right now the way yeah. they played in that first half. Lewis does have foul trouble. Nick Thompson has two fouls, so he's got to be careful here early. Cadell Wallace also has two fouls. It'll be Leo basketball to start the third quarter. Nick Thompson gets it into Cadell Wallace. Cadell Wallace will run the point for Lures. Gets it to Thompson. Thompson looking for the backdoor cut. He'll drive. He'll pull. 
thought about pulling the shot. Pulls it back, though. Wallace will reset the offense. He'll get a screen up top, looking for the roll. Nobody there. Three on the way. No good off the front of the iron by Isaac Zay. That's got to be a knockdown for Lures. Yeah. Back okay. the other way, LaGrange. And good hustle play by Isaac Zay there to save the ball. Cadell Wallace drives. Nobody there. Gives it back to Zay. Zay to Thompson. Thompson will pull a three. No good off the iron. And Jackson McGee's got it. Two on one. Gives it to Trey Heitschu. He puts it up. Blocked by Nick Thompson. And we got a foul. That will be on Danny Kelly for our Lures. So Javon Walker will be at the line for the Leo Lions, and he misses on the front end. We'll have one more coming. Makes the second. So six-point lead for the Leo Lions, 25-19. Cadell Wallace over the left side to Isaac Zay. Gets it to number 15, Javens. Cadell Wallace off the screen. He thought about pulling it. He'll drive in the lane. Hops, off balance shot, no good. And it'll stay Lures basketball. Pass goes into Wallace. Also pull it back. Gets it to number three, Danny Kelly. Back to Zay. Thompson. Thompson will drive into the lane. Fakes, puts up the shot, and hits it. Nick Thompson with his first bucket of the game. 25-21, four-point lead for the Leo Lions. Inside the paint, LaGrange puts it up and in. Oh. E Eli LaGrange having a nice game. Back the other way, and he gets a block. Good set there for Eli LaGrange. Well, that was a great job of him getting back because Lewis is looking to push the ball up quickly. And LaGrange is looking for Walker inside. It looks like it went off of Lures, so it'll stay Leo basketball. Three Hi on the way. No good. In and out by McGee. Loose ball. Thompson's got it. Six-point lead. Wallace in the lane. Fakes. Puts up the jump shot. No good off the back of the iron. Danny Kelly's there. Nick Thompson will pull a three. No good off the front of the iron. Trey Heitschu with the rebound. Back the other way. Heitschu puts it up, and it rolls in. 29-21. We've got a foul on the floor. It's going to be on... Trey Heitschu, it looks like. That is Trey Heitschu's third. So that'll take him out of the game. Enters his brother, Nolan Heitschu. Wallace drives, and he got blocked. I believe that was Nolan Haichu with the block. Yeah, Nolan's just a freshman. Plays like a junior. Sol Richard missed it. He gets his own rebound, though. And Turnover. Danny Kelly comes away with it. Isaac Zay, actually. 29-21. This is a crucial possession for Lures right here. Cadell Wallace hits it. 
Coach Coffin will take a 30-second timeout. We will, too, while here on SummitCitySports.com. always been here um you know and they're getting better um you know i'm watching you know uh summer city sports man they're doing an awesome job and i mean that's a plug them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job and i'm able to be in nashville and watch games uh on youtube um that they're broadcasting and i'm seeing the talent and it is just truly outstanding and i mean you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the nfl now from fort wayne indiana the talent that's coming up now and the talent that you know is it's it's is, is just here man it's just it's really Back here after the timeout, 29-23, 4.32 left here in the third quarter. Lures was down eight. That's their biggest deficit of the night, trying to claw their way back here. Eli LaGrange has been the difference maker for Leo here in the second half. Yeah, he's provided Leo with a spark off the bench. 29-23. I think Lures will probably pick him up full court here. They will, but they'll back off. Yeah, Jackson McGee, got to think he's pretty frustrated right now with only nine points. He may just take over here. He gets in the lane, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound, Danny Kelly. Wallace has it, he'll drive right side. Cross court to Thompson. Leo's in a little 2-3 zone. Cadell Wallace will step up and he'll knock it down. Cadell Wallace. Huge three. Cuts it to a one point game now, or one score game. Nolan Haichu has it. LaGrange looking to set a screen. Doesn't work out. Another screen by LaGrange. Yeah, they like to roll. He's got to roll to the basket instead of the perimeter. McGee goes up. He backs in. No good, but LaGrange is there. I'll see if they call it. It's got to be on the floor, yeah. I think. This might be on Wallace, and if that is, then it's going to be Wallace's third. Yeah, it's on the floor. Foul was on number four. That's a good break there for Lures. Yeah. That's Isaac Zay. That's his first. You don't want Wallace to get three fouls here. I'm not. They'll say it's on the shot. Okay. I, I mean, so LaGrange goes to the line. He hits it. Coach Coffing's asking for an exclamation. Like, how can you not count the shot but say it's a shooting foul? Yeah. He makes them both. I mean, I think there you just called on the floor take yeah. it out of bounds. It doesn't look like he was going up until after the fact. Number 23, that's Damian Jackson, and that's another turnover for Lures. Tough possession there for Lures. They needed a bucket. Yeah. 3-11 to play here in the third quarter, 31-26. Eli LaGrange will drive left side. Kicks it out. To Javon Walker, he drives in, dishes it off to Nolan Haichu, and that's a nice look. Good, good play right there. Good dish off by Javon Walker. For sure. Lures now with an opportunity. They really need something here. Three on the way, and that's good by Isaac Zay. Isaac Zay with the three ball. Makes it 33-29, Leo. Oh, almost turned over there, and it's going to go Lures basketball. Great defensive possession there by Isaac Zay. Well, 
Wallace now to run the offense. 33-29, this is a huge possession for Lures. Jackson will take a three, no good off the mark, and Danny Kelly will get called for over the back. Tough, tough sh possession there for Lures. Opportunity to get within one. They gotta knock those shots down. Just under two minutes left in this third quarter. Now both these teams could meet again. They're in the same sectional, no, correct? Lures, no, they're not. Lures dropped down. They to dropped two down a. to two A. Take by Mitchell, and he drew the foul. That'll be on Nolan Heitschill. That'll be his second. They must be one of the highest two A schools then, must because they were a low three A last year. Yep. It's every two years they do the realignments. 33-29, big free throws here for Jackson. First one is up and it's good. Trey Haichu comes into the game for Sol Richards. One more coming here for the Knights. It's up and it's good. 33-31. McGee Back. drives. Yeah, he's on the right wing, gives it off to LaGrange. LaGrange has had a pretty good third quarter. Back to Trey Heitschu. He's back in there. Gets it into LaGrange. Backs in on Danny Kelly, goes up strong. Good hustle play there by Javon Walker. Heitschu in the lane. He puts up the shot and drew the foul. 1.15 left here in the third quarter. 33-31. Trey Haichu at the line. Free throws up and good. Haichu's got three points on the night. Mitchell is going to come in for Zay. Second free throw is up and no good. Danny Kelly with the rebound. Three-point lead for Leo Lyons, 1-11 to play here in the third. Cadell Wallace will set up the offense here. Nick Thompson over to Danny Kelly, right corner, Jackson. Jackson will pull a long jump shot. It's off the mark. Not necessarily the shot I think Coach Coffing wanted. No. McGee will drive right side, guarded by Mitchell, spins, uses his body, missed the shot. Javon Walker, good hustle play there. Haichu missed it, loose ball. Danny Kelly comes away with it, and Jackson's got it. Oh, go to the basket, gives it to Thompson. He puts it up and in. Good move there. Thompson was trailing there, and Mitchell saw him all the way. Or, I'm sorry, Barr saw him all the way. I'm confused if that's Barr or Jackson, because on the official stats that we got at halftime, it says Jackson. So... Stolen away by Wallace. Wallace has it. He drives and he got fouled. That was probably a smart foul there by Nolan on uh, Haichu. Yeah, it's, it's, there's going to be an easy layup instead. They got to run an offensive set. And that's what Lures has struggled with tonight, yeah. running the offense. But they've done a great job in transition. Unfortunately, that's going to be Nolan Haichu's third. So he'll have to be careful. Mitchell will come out. Zay re enters. Hi, Nolan Haichu exits, and Sol Richards re-enters. 34-33, 14 seconds left. Danny Kelly gets it. Oh, Cadell Wallace thought about pulling. He'll drive right baseline, goes up and under, and it's good. Yeah. Cadell Wallace, and Lures has got the lead. Good up and under. Two seconds, Jackson McGee. It's off the front of the iron. What a third quarter there. For the Lures Knights, they were down eight. Now they're back in the lead, 35-34. We're headed to the fourth. We'll take a break here on SummitCitySports.com. You're good. 
at Basement Basketball. We are good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. Back here to start the fourth quarter. Wow, what an impressive last three minutes for Bishop Lures Knights. And, and you got to give it to Cadell Wallace, 19 points so far. So let's see what Leo can do. They're down by one. Haichu drives. He puts it up. Oh, missed the shot. Javon Walker's just been hustling underneath the boards yeah. tonight. He's been great getting those offensive rebounds. Trey Haichu will pull three. It bounces, no good. Danny Kelly gets the rebound. Danny Kelly's been doing a great job. And here comes Lures in transition. Back to Thompson. He puts it up and in. You do not want Lures to get into their transition offense. They'll kill you with their speed. Yeah. 37-34. McGee's been pretty quiet, only nine points. Only two here in the second half. Had seven early in the first quarter. High shoot for three. He buries it, and we got a tie ball game. Big three, Trey Haichu. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven. Lures has possession. Three, no good. By Isaac Zay, and it's a Leo turnover. Haichu had McGee open up, up at the front court, unable to get in there. Angola leads Woodland 26-18 at half. Angola outscored Woodland 15-0 in the second quarter. And that's a decent Woodland team. We saw them yeah. this weekend. Kind of seems similar to what happened with them and Jay County in that third yeah, and fourth they, quarter. Yeah, they had a lead, and they really struggled holding it. 37-37 here, fourth quarter. Lures really has struggled tonight, uh, setting up their offense and getting something going. Thompson will pull a three. It's in and out. Cadell Wallace is there to get the second chance rebound. He'll spin it back. Oh, gets it inside to Zay. Zay fakes. Oh, he missed the shot. Zay puts it back up. Missed it again. Two opportunities. That's the one thing Lures has struggled with tonight. Yeah. Those inside shots. Isaac Zay's had a tough night for Lures. Missed some threes and missed those inside bunnies. 37-37, 5.40 left here in the fourth. McGee, or actually uh, Javon Walker, kicks it to shot, and he throws it out of bounds. Coach Cogdale's beside himself. He's upset with the turnovers. You can tell. Cadell Wallace to Isaac Zay. Thompson. Danny Kelly. Danny Kelly drives, kicks. Gives it back to Wallace. Wallace thought about pulling the long three. He drives, fakes. Stops on a dime and hits it. Cadell Wallace has got 21. Yeah. 
And there's gonna be an off or offensive foul. That's gonna be on Jackson McGee. Fidel Wallace playing some great defense there to draw that foul. That'll be McGee's second. Shot will exit. LaGrange re-enters. So Lewis has a chance here to extend their lead. Now the good thing is Eli LaGrange created quite a spark to start the third quarter. Can he do it again off the bench for the Lions? This is a huge possession for Lures to try to get a two-score ball game. Danny Kelly picks up his dribble, gives Isaac Zay, drives left baseline, stripped away, but right to Nick Thompson. Nick Thompson lost it, and the ball's loose. He's got to be careful. we got a jump ball. It's going to stay Lures' possession here. 4.18 to play, 39-37. Gets it in, oh, Danny Kelly puts it up and in. Good out of bounds play. Danny Kelly got up there. That was great execution on the out of bounds yeah. play. Mark LaGrange gets the rebound. Kicks it back out to Sol Richards. Up and under there for Haichu, no good. Rebounded by Lures. Lures is in transition now. Isaac Zay, oh, missed it again. He's having a tough time with those bunnies. There's going to be a foul on the Grange. So Lures will have it underneath. 41-37. Pass goes into Nick Thompson. 3.39 to play. Cadell Wallace has it on the right side. He's guarded by Jackson McGee. Wallace will go to work. He'll drive. Kicks out to Isaac Zay. Three on the way for Zay. No good. Kelly tried to keep it. Kelly's got some mad hops. And we got a blocking foul. Good hustle play there by Isaac Zay after the miss. We got a timeout. We'll keep it right here. I want to show you that uh, out of bounds play here in a minute. Let me get this queued up. Here's a look again at the traction action replay on that out of bounds play. Just a great look to Danny Kelly. He's got one heck of a vertical. So reset here, 322 left. It's 41-37. Lures hanging on to a four point lead. Team fouls is five and five. Uh, Leo will have the basketball. Now, right now, leading scores for Leo, Eli LaGrange with nine and Jackson McGee with nine. Now, Jackson McGee is averaging 19 points per game, so he's 10 below his average. So you got to think that this is the spot where Jackson McGee will uh, try to take over here. We'll see what happens. Lures with a four-point lead. Largest lead of the game was eight points for Leo in the third quarter. Three nineteen here. Trey Haichu's got it. A big possession for Leo here. They're looking for McGee off screens. Cadell Wallace has played ice defense on him. Good move there by Javon Walker on the floor. That's a sixth team foul, so the next foul will put Leo in the one and one. Looks like Lures will settle in a two three zone on the out of bounds play. Oh, Trey Haichu pull the three, no good off the mark. He gets his own rebound, takes it up. Block shot by Danny Kelly. Using that length. Thompson in the lane. Dishes. Oh, Zay. And it's on the end line. Two 
2.45 left, four point lead for Lures. It's been a tough night for Isaac Zay. Sol Richards has it. Ooh, almost stolen away there by Wallace. Haichu, cross court pass. Jackson McGee from downtown. No good off the mark, and we got a good box out. They're going to call a foul, I think. I think on Cadell Wallace. That's his fourth. So Wallace has got to be careful here. That'll put Liu in the bonus. Guess the officials thought he was pushing his boxing out a little bit too hard there. Here's a look at it again. It's right underneath the basket. I think because he was underneath the basket, that's why they called it on him. Free throw is good. 41 38, 217 to play. Huge free throw here for Javon Walker. Tough break for Lures. Cadell Wallace has four. He's got to be careful. Nick Thompson has it. Three-point lead. Now, no rush for Lures. They just got to get a good shot here. Yeah, can't settle for a crappy shot. Oh, Wallace could have took it to the rack. Thompson, ah, he's got a bounce pass there. 159 left. Coach Coffin will call him a timeout. We'll take a timeout too here on SummitCitySports.com. I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. Back here on SummitCitySports.com, under two minutes to play here in the fourth. It's 41-38, Lures, Lures with the basketball. Coach Coffin took the timeout. We'll see what kind of out-of-bounds play they run here. Last time they executed extremely well. Danny Kelly got a nice bucket under the, under the basket. Really crucial possession. This can make it a two-score game for, oh, there it is again. Isaac Zay up and good. No one was covering him there. So Leo needs to answer with just under two minutes left. Haichu looking. Into Find McGee, he puts it up and it's good. And Coach Cogdale wants a timeout. Yeah, we'll keep it right here. Here's a look again at that out of bounds play on our traction action replay. Ran a screen right there and Isaac Zay finished it. And then back to answer, you had this. Uh, Trey Heitschu goes behind the back, and he gets the cutter. McGee, and McGee puts it up on the right side, and we have a one-score ball game, 40 to 43. So Leo took a timeout. We'll see what Coach Coffin draws up this time. So they'll pick him up full court and they'll trap him. Almost a steal there. Wallace gets breaks away. Now no rush here. No. Get the best possible shot you can. Your lures. No rush. 
They have two fouls to give. Fourth on Haichu. Don't know if that was the guy you wanted to be fouling, wanted to foul. Yeah, in, in this situation, you you might want to bring in somebody else instead of Trey Haichu. He's got to be careful. The next foul will put him in the one and one. Got to get a steal here. Oh, almost an over and back. What a move there by Wallace. Wallace he puts it up, missed the shot. Thompson gets the rebound. He'll pull it back. And, and a travel. travel. What a possession there. But the ball handling skills by Wallace, that was incredible. So one minute left. Leo will have possession here. Now are you going to go for a three here to tie or are you going to go take a two? I mean, you this is going to be a foul on Thompson. That's his fourth. So one and one on the way for Jackson McGee. One and one on the way. Lures didn't like the call there. It's the third foul. McGee hits it. That's McGee's 12th point of the night. Hits them both. 43-42. We'll take a timeout here on SummitCitySports.com. Team haven't won a sectional title in 32 years. There's no team better than us if we just do our job. You know, nobody really want to lose no more. All you want is greatness. You want me one, two, three. This is the game that's been on my calendar all year. We don't need you. Man, this is a plan. We a whole different Northside team. Back here on SummitCitySports.com, under a minute to play. Lures has a 43-42 lead with the ball. Jackson McGee just hit two free throws. Both teams will be in the one and one on the next foul. You got to think the ball is going to be in Cadell Wallace's hands. Lures will pick him, our Leo will pick him up full court. Now they brought in Nolan Haichu. Yeah, he's in there Trey instead Haichu. of Trey Haichu. Yep. Trey's got four, so you don't want to get hit his fifth. So They'll get trap to him. Wallace. Gets it to Thompson. Thompson, they break the press, gets it up. Shot and drew the foul. It's going to be Pretty on. Pretty gutsy move to take it in there. Yeah. Lagrange's going to Lagrange is going to get called for the foul. So two shots coming. Big free throws here. Number 23 on the roster. That's Demarcus Barr. And it rolls in. Trey Haichu comes back in. I would imagine Kaufman will call a timeout on a make. And he hits it. Lures will take a full timeout. So Lures 45, Leo 42. 47 seconds left. We'll be right back here on Summit City Sports. Dot com.
Yo, what's going on? It's Antoine Taylor with Matrix QB. I'm so excited to announce our new book, The Quarterback Toolshed, strictly designed to help you slow the game down so that you can speed up. Whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player, it's jam-packed with information. We're going to help you slow the game down by giving you a mental processor so that you can speed up. This resource has all the things you need from reading the defense, passing mechanics, pre-snap filters, coverage ID, and much, much more. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see you on the inside. Back here on SummitCitySports.com, 47 seconds left. Leo will have the basketball. They are down three. Cadell Wallace has four fouls, so he's got to be careful. I think Nick Thompson also has four fouls. Yeah, on the scoreboard, they got him with three. Oh, then so. he might have three. He's got to be very careful. You, you know, you don't really have to put a lot of pressure. You just can't allow no. them to have open threes. No open threes. I think you'd be fine with them taking a two. LaGrange missed the shot, and we got a foul on Haichu, and that's his fifth. So Haichu will be done for the night. So Trey Haichu with only three points on the night. Actually had six points on the night. I was looking at the wrong side. These are huge free throws for Nick Thompson. What a gutsy performance for Lures. Yeah, after what it looked like, Leo was settling in. Lures goes on a run the last few minutes of the third quarter and gets on top. One and one. Free throws up. Good. Thompson rattles it in. 46-42. Second free throw is up and good. 47-42, 30 seconds. Leo's got to get a quick shot here. Nolan Haichu gets a screen at the top. We got to go. Oh, great. Offensive foul. That's what Wesley Javins. What a charge. Way to get his feet yeah, set. Yeah, look at it here on the traction action replay again. Oh, he, he might have got away with it. Didn't look like his feet were set. Did not look like the feet were set, but uh, sometimes in live action, that's tough to see, but in slow motion, you could see it clearly there. It didn't look like the feet were set. So 47-42, 19 seconds left here. Lures basketball. Then that was, if I were Leo there, that was not a good possession. Yeah, I'm surprised Coach Cogdale didn't s settle for a timeout, get something set on an out-of-bounds play there. Because um, they took way too much time there, get, letting the play develop. I think the inexperience is showing for Leo right now, and I think they'll work it out as the year goes on. But yeah. you only got two experienced players from last year, Trey Heitschu and uh, Jackson McGee. Lures breaks the press. You got a foul here. McGee gets poked in the eye. Or not McGee, Cadell Wallace. So Wallace can ice it here. Two shots coming here. At the conclusion of our game, we'll run our ads one more time and give you the final stats in the Parkview Sports Medicine Player of the Game. Wallace missed it. He'll have one more. Looking for his 22nd point. Missed it again. They got to go quick. 13 seconds. Nolan Heitschu pulls the three. No good off the mark. And Cadell Wallace is fouled again.
So Wallace will be at the line. Lures will be back in action at Northrup on Friday. That's a boys-girls doubleheader. So the girls game will start at 7. Boys will come right after. That's on Friday night. And then they go down to Lawrence North. And then they play at Culver and then Homestead. They got quite a schedule coming up. They're going to be battle-tested. So this is a good win yeah. tonight for Lures. 49-42. Leo, baskets good by Jackson McGee. Final score, Lures 49. 49, Leo 44. So Leo will be back in action. Uh, on Saturday at Woodland. Uh, so let's run through our sponsors one more time here. We got the Big Eye Fish. They've been around the Northeast India area for generations. Like their Facebook page for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment. Kelly Automotive Group celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their locations at drivekelly.com. Tom Steele Tires and serving the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and much more. At Onwell Contracting, we invest for our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process. From bid to bill, visit onwellercontracting.com. Some of volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump aboard together, we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. A system and solution that fits your unique needs, visit andersoncoolheat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Whether it's expunging your criminal record or helping get your driver's license reinstated, Jolly Law Firm is your answer. Sequoia Cleaning Restoration, providing top much top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial water damage and state-of-the-art disinfecting services throughout the Northeast Indiana area. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. And the Always 100 is hosting their 13th annual Always 100 Holiday Hoops Camp. It will be from December 26th to December 29th. Register at always100basketball.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is the largest area, is the area's largest integrated sports medicine team, specialized in serving every level of athlete, no matter if they're trying to get better at what they do or recovering from an injury. Our experts coordinate with, with your care in the state-of-the-art state facilities and community. To start your journey, visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Today's broadcast is brought to you by summitcitysports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, so Aiden, our final stats for the night. Bishop Lures comes into Leo and beats them 49-44. We thought it was all Leo up by eight in the third quarter. And Lures went on a run, and they did it behind their leading scorer tonight. Cadell Wallace, he had 23 points. Nick Thompson had eight points. Damian Jackson or Demarcus Barr had eight points. Isaac Zay had five. Uh, Wesley Javins had four. And Danny Kelly had uh, three points, it looks like. That was the scoring for the Lures Knights, for the Leo Lions. Jackson McGee was the leading scorer with 15. Eli LaGrange with nine. Nolan Heitchut with seven. Trey Heitchut with six. Javon Walker with four. And Sol Richards for three. So Lures with a great road win tonight. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for our Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game and that goes to Cadell Wallace he had an excellent night 23 points he had uh he just he just did everything played great defense shot the ball well he was 9 of 14 3 of 4 from the three-point line 2 of 4 from free throw line Cadell Wallace Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game 
Once again, final score, Bishop Lures 49, Leo 44. Don't forget, Friday night, we'll have all the action on SummitCitySports.com to start the SAC boy-girl double headers. You can catch that on the YouTube channel or on the IHSAA uh, Champions Network. Or on Facebook. Or on Facebook. I'm Steve Orth alongside Aid North. Have a great night.